we're stepping into the heart of Italy, into a city that's been a beacon of culture, history, and power for over two millennia. Yes, you guessed it right. We're exploring Rome, the Eternal City. From the grandeur of the Colosseum, the sacred Vatican City, to the charming piazzas, Rome is a city that proudly displays its rich history. So, buckle up as we unravel the layers of time and dive deep into the captivating tales of Rome. Let's get started. Nestled in the heart of Rome, the Colosseum stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Romans. Commissioned around AD 70, 72 by Emperor Vespasian of the Flavian dynasty. This colossal structure was a gift to the Roman people, symbolizing power and entertainment. The Colosseum, originally known as the Flavian Amphitheater, was inaugurated in AD 80 with a hundred days of games. Gladiatorial combats, wild animal fights, and naval battles filled the arena as tens of thousands of spectators watched in awe. With a capacity of approximately 50,000 spectators, the Colosseum was an engineering marvel. It featured a complex system of vaults and was built entirely freestanding, a rarity for amphitheaters of the time. Despite the passage of time and the loss of two-thirds of its original structure, the Colosseum continues to captivate it's not just the scale that impresses, but the ingenuity of its design, including the retractable awning that shielded spectators from the sun. A nation within a city. Vatican City is the smallest independent state in the world by both area and population, but its influence echoes through the ages. Our story begins in the fourth century AD with the construction of a basilica over St. Peter's grave. This sacred site developed into a major pilgrimage destination, shaping the destiny of the area. Fast forward to 1929, the Lateran Treaty established Vatican City in its current form, creating a new nation, not just a remnant of the once vast Papal States. Today, Vatican City is more than a historical marvel. It's a living, breathing cultural powerhouse. Home to the Pope, the Sistine Chapel, and the Vatican Museums. It's a treasure trove of art and spirituality. As we walk through the Vatican Gardens, past the Apostolic Palace, we're treading the same paths as saints and sinners, artists and emperors. Every corner tells a story. Every fresco whispers secrets of the divine. Here, history isn't just remembered, it's alive. Situated in the Vatican City, St. Peter's Basilica is not only the largest church in the world, but also an artistic and cultural treasure trove that has inspired pilgrims and visitors for centuries. As we enter this sacred space, we're immediately captivated by the grandeur of its design. A three-aisled Latin cross with a dome at the crossing, directly above the high altar, which covers the shrine of St. Peter the Apostle. The dome, designed by Michelangelo, rises to a majestic 448 feet. It's not just an architectural feat, but also a symbol of the heavens touching the earth. St. Peter's Basilica is more than a monument. It's a living legacy of faith, art, and history that continues to awe and inspire. Once the epicenter of Roman public life, the Forum was a marketplace, a political arena, and a religious complex all rolled into one. It was here that the fate of an empire was debated. Laws were passed, and gods were worshipped. Imagine walking through the Forum, surrounded by imposing temples and vibrant basilicas. The Temple of Saturn, 
the Senate House, and the Arch of Titus are just a few of the structures that once defined this space. Today, the Roman Forum is a testament to Rome's legacy, attracting millions of visitors each year, eager to walk in the footsteps of history. As the sun sets over these ancient stones, we're reminded of the Eternal City's enduring influence on the world. Nestled in the heart of Rome, Villa Borghese is not just a park, but a grand canvas for art and greenery. Paint a picture of serenity and beauty. The story of Villa Borghese I begins with Cardinal Scipione Borghese, the visionary who transformed a vineyard into a sublime expression of Baroque art and landscaping in the early 17th century. As we stroll through the lush avenues, we're accompanied by the silent stories of statues and fountains that have witnessed centuries pass by. As the day ends, the setting sun bathes Villa Borghese in golden hues, reminding us that beauty and art are eternal. As our journey through Rome comes to a close, we're left with the echoes of a civilization that shaped the world. From the grandeur of the Colosseum to the sanctity of Vatican City, from the whispers of the Roman Forum to the artistic haven of Villa Borghese, Rome is a city that lives in the present while honoring its past. Every cobblestone, every fountain, Every vista tells the story of humanity's triumphs, trials, and timeless quest for beauty. Rome is not just a city. It's an experience, a feeling, a memory that lingers long after you've departed its borders. So whether you're walking in the footsteps of emperors, marveling at the masterpieces of Michelangelo, or simply enjoying a gelato by the Spanish steppes, Rome offers a piece of eternity to all who visit. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. See you in the next video.